for this week's art and culture segment, we meet our culture correspondent, Song Yoo Jin, from one of the fast eating spots in the nation for a visit during this time of year, the beautiful spring season. Yoo Jin, tell us where you are. Well, good evening, Tongmin. I'm currently in the Jinhaegu district of South Korea's Gyeongsangnam-do province, one of the most southern parts of the country. Now, as you can see, it started raining quite heavily from about a half an hour ago. But this rain and this weather isn't stopping people's anticipation and excitement. That's because the opening ceremony of this year's Jinhaegunangja festival has just kicked off about 15 minutes ago. And this festival is the biggest and one of the oldest festivals here in South Korea. And it's actually the biggest cherry blossom festival that's taking place here in the country. And this year is even more special because for the first time in four years, this festival is back in full scale due to COVID-19. Now, and um, I've been waiting to show you this gorgeous sea of white and pink flowers. Um, and I don't really know if you can see because of the rain, but they're amazing and gorgeous. And that's because Jinhae is one of the most best places where you can see the cherry blossoms here in South Korea. Uh, the city has more than the county, the district has more than 360,000 king cherry trees originating from our very own Jeju Island that's planted here. And what caught my attention, another thing besides this amazing scenery is the crowd. Uh, because this is the first cherry blossom season since uh, the lifting of strict virus restrictions, almost no virus restrictions, the festival forecasts that an all-time high of about 4.5 million visitors will come both from near and far. And we actually got to talk to some of them. Let's Let's first take a listen. I decided to take a look around first because I expect not only local residents but lots of people from all across the country to come. I want to guide them when they visit. It's our dream to see the Sherry Blossom, the Sakura Festival, since we are little. Uh, we got uh, engaged and married last year, so this is part of our honeymoon. Uh, well, we since we just got here, we cannot wait to take pictures and enjoy the... Well, it's raining, but the flowers behind you just look amazing. So for those who want to enjoy the scenery up until when exactly can they do so? Well, first of all, I'm glad that you're enjoying the scenery too, Jungmin. Um, and actually, the spring flowers, they tend to burst out and they reach peak bloom, starting from the very south part of the country, like here in Jinhae. The Korea Meteorological Administration actually forecasted that spring flowers this year, it says that it opened about 5 to 10 days earlier when compared to the week before, mainly due to higher than usual temperature. Now, what this means is that we'll be able to see these flowers uh, reach peak bloom much faster when compared to the week before. And if you look at this map, this map contains one of the best places, recommendable places, where you can see the cherry blossoms here in South Korea. And as for Jinhae, where I'm in right now, last year, the flowers opened up and they reached their peak bloom on March 31st. And considering the weather conditions, uh, the local weather station predicts that we'll be able to see these flowers to full bloom much faster, um, sometime probably before April 3rd. That's when this Jinhae Gunangja Festival will Will come to a close. So if you're planning to have some cherry blossom fun this year, I suggest you look at your calendar and start planning now. Back to you, Tongmin. You bet. It's on my list. Thanks, Eugene.